Lumberton Raiders and the Vider Pirates have both had a tough go of things this season. Yeah, you know what? They're both still in playoff contention, though, and just they just need a little bit of help and a few wins to make it in. Just a little help from, isn't that a song? Need yeah, a little just, help from your friends. Hey, or just the two of us. <laughs> them and them. We're getting started early. Teams getting on the field. Van, cheerleaders, everybody excited. Vider getting the ball first. They're going to run the football, and they're going to do oh. it right. That oh. is all the way to the house. Landon Jones right there. Nobody knew where he was. That, I mean, they're doing it right. Well done by Vider right there. Something to get excited about. Next play, Lumberton with the rock. Now, uh, this is the old Pirates again. Going around Ooh. the outside. That's a the Brady Bloss Brody there. Bl Brody Bloss right there. Nice play on the outside. Now, Lumberton with the rock. Oh, it's a fumble, but he picks it back up, airs it out. Who's he going to oh, find? What the Tyler world? Breeden I can't makes believe the catch that. down the field. Uh oh, Vider with the hurry up offense. They're going to run right up the middle of the field. Dagan Venable. Huge run, huge hole, makes a man miss. Gets down inside the red zone, 10-yard line. Vider with the ball again, but it's a fumble. You can't do that, but there's a flag on the play. Is it coming back? Do they get some help? No, Lumberton with the football. And Carter Wilson, he fumbles the football as well, but he recovers right before the sack. A sloppy football early on. Maybe they can get it together a little bit later. Lumberton. With the football again, Carter Wilson dropping back. He's searching. He's searching. He's going to break it. free. Sw the swarm, he's come around, but he gets out of it. And picks oh. up big yards downfield. Making it happen when it counts. Dropping back, but finding the wrong guy. That's Layden Sanders with the interception provider. The final in that one, the Pirates do come out with the victory. They win it 34 to 28. Ebony Coleman is joining us now live with some post-game reaction. And Ebony, did they even leave the lights on for you? Well, I see somebody with a flashlight behind her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's a car. <laughs> <laughs> did they turn them off? Oh, they did. They were they were a little bit lighter earlier, but it was a full moon out here at Raider Stadium, which made for a pretty interesting game between Lumberton and the Vider Pirates. There were a few flags thrown, but there were lots of stops and incomplete passes from both sides of the field during halftime. In true fashion, I was able to speak to Lumberton head coach Chase McDonald, who tells me, as we all know, it's a very physical game. He told me his guy simply needed to crank up their physicality. He says the defense had some good plays, but they also had some pretty bad ones. He believes they needed to stay in drives on their offense and run their running backs and continue to give that guy the ball. During one point in the game, Coach McDonald and Vider head coach Dwayne DeBose spent several minutes on the field speaking with referees about a penalty for intentional grounding with Lumberton coming out on the positive side of that. Of course, I was told by some fans that they won tonight and uh, I talked to McDonald. He's going to take it away and tell me what he to share with me in the locker room. In, in Lumberton, we think he got the right call and Vider, he's got the wrong call. So it's just one of those, you know, uh, can't please everybody situations that, uh, you know, that's all that was, was talking about a, a penalty. So we got to be able to run our, run our, run our running back, uh, continue to give him the football, uh, stay out of third and long. Third and longs are killing us. I asked Coach McDonald how he felt his team was doing this season overall. He says he can't really look at the grand scheme of things right now, but all they can do is take it one day, or I guess one game at a time. I'm live in Lumberton, Ebony Coleman, 12 News. All right, Ebony, of course, that game, 34-28, uh, the Vider Pirates. It's a big win for them, especially yep. a big road win. Yeah, and I mean, mathematically speaking, they're still in the playoff contention. They they need a lot of help, but, yeah. you know, they need wins as well. So all that's going to matter moving forward. And, I mean, now is the time of the year where it's – it, it, all these games are playoff games. Oh, you know, yeah. Everything is matter. kind of like a game seven, mm -hmm. must win. You know, you got to just treat it like that. Because, yeah. I mean, if you lose, well, you can go from first to fourth or <laughs> yeah. second to sixth in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. We're going to see some more of that.